Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys how I make my white wine chicken orzo. So let's go ahead and get started. So to begin, you're gonna be using four chicken breasts. I used bone in and I'm gonna be seasoning this with salt and pepper. You can use boneless for this recipe as well. I just prefer the bone in just because it tends to not be as dry and you don't really have to handle it too much. Um, so here I am just seasoning both sides. I did remove some of that excess skin just because I didn't want to take the time to make it crispy. I don't like the skin to not be crispy. That's just me. So to my skillet, I added some olive oil and I'm turning up to heat the heat to medium high and I'm going to place my chicken breast skin side down. Um, and I do this so I can go ahead and crispy up that skin. It took about five to six minutes on high. Be careful, it does splatter a little bit. And you're gonna be doing this to both sides before it goes in the oven. So this is a nice color we want, perfect. And now after about five minutes on each side, you can remove it, put it on a little side plate, and we'll come back to that later. So now to our skillet, we're gonna add our garlic. And we're just gonna saute this until it's fragrant. And we're gonna add the orzo. If you don't know what orzo is, orzo is just short cut pasta. And it's made to look like long grain rice. It's absolutely delicious and one of my favorite like pantry items. I also added butter to this pan and some white dry wine. Um, for me, I personally like Sauvignon Blanc, but if you have Pino Grigio at your home, then that is perfect for this recipe as well. And you're just gonna let that simmer for a bit. And then after about two minutes, you're gonna add the chicken broth. And I am gonna have all the measurements in the description box above. Here I have lemon juice with some lemon zest in it as well. And I will add some pitted olives. This is optional. I know some people don't really like olives, but it does give it a good flavor. I have artichoke hearts here as well. Now I'm just gonna mix this up and around this time is when I like to start tasting. Um, cilantro is a perfect, delicious herb to use and one of my favorite things in every recipe that I use. Just gives it this earthy flavor. I don't even know how to describe it. I just love cilantro. And now you see me tasting the broth. Uh, my personal seasoning that I like to use is the chicken bouillon. It's not the cube, it's the powder form, and it just goes such a long way. It gives everything a good flavor. I did about two to three tablespoons. And here you'll see me putting my chicken back into my skillet, and I'm gonna be including that excess juice that dripped out of my um, chicken. So in a preheated oven at 400 degrees, this will go for about 20 to 25 minutes if you're using bone in if you're using boneless then keep an eye on it from between 15 to 20 minutes and here we have our finished product well almost to garnish this i am going to be adding some feta cheese and then some more fresh cilantro on top and there you go it was a hit at my house it's so good it's so easy and just one pan so less dishes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments down below and i'll be happy to answer them um yeah i hope you gave it a try thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like share and subscribe till next time bye